Hi everyone. So trying to do this will be my third take because I see that my my camera causes things to be blurry. <laughs> so anyway. Um all right, so you know I've been giving a lot of tips if you've watched my previous videos. One of the tips I said was to, to do them individually. As you can tell, I've gone back on that. I have sewed it all together. I have eight rows on the top and five down. And I, I felt like they were distorting too much, the blocks. So anyway, I take it back. <laughs> so um, you can do what you want. But from what I've discovered, uh, it's best to sew them together. And one good reason is, for example, I have four, let me stand back here. I have four blocks, right? And I put a doily right in the corner. You can't do that without them sewed together. Yes, you can still individually do your embroider work, but... I decided to try this, so that's the whole point of me doing this um, uh, tutorial <laughs> because I'm new. So anyway, I have about 20 blocks or so to do, and then I still have a lot of fine detail to do. Like um, I still need to embroider on these lines and stuff, so kind of working from the uh, center out. Um, I did this one this morning and I want you to notice my knot here. If you're not an embroiderer it's best to put your knot on the outside and then make a couple tack stitches like in the ditch and um, then you just trim your knot off. So uh, notice also, see how this is wrinkly? This is a stretch fabric and you're going to run into that. So you either leave it as is or put something else on it. But I am not going to worry about it. Once I'm done embroidering, I'll decorate. So there's the motif right in the center of the four blocks. That was actually a... Um, table runner and I cut the uh, little doily out of it. Let me see if I can get in. I hope that's not too blurry. Let's see. It's very dark, isn't it? But I kind of like it. <laughs> kind of goes with my little scarf there that I did the embroidery on. Let me see. Bear with me. That yellow flower there, it's upside down. I guess I could have put this differently, but yeah, that was a flower that was on the um, scarf. So yeah, I even used scarf on, on some of my um, fabric squares for this. So, sorry, trying to get it. Let's go out. Okay. So anyway, um, so my tip to you is maybe you should just sew it all together and then just have at it. And that's what I've done. So, like I said, I have about 20 blocks. I'm working from the center out, it looks like, because of the way I sewed it together. And I'm just going to keep going. So the main reason for this was to let you know I'm still around. <laughs> it's been a while. And that... Um, I go back on my one tip and um, also I wanted to thank everybody who followed and you know part of, put a comment in there about how nice everything was and that, that I did beautiful work I'm very humbled by that really truly um, it inspired me so I really appreciate all the comments I and just to watch the videos, to take the time. I know we're all busy and stuff, and I just really appreciate it. I mean, it means a lot to me. So anyway, um, make sure you've got a lot of ribbon. 
you're going to need it. And then, excuse me if I get you dizzy, but all the um, thread. I've shown this before. I put my thread on a, a, a ring. And I did write the numbers on these. A little blurry. But to me, I'm not, you know, I'm just picking by color. And I use my color well, that's for sure. So, but I, I go by color, so it's handy for me. But you'll, you'll need a lot of thread. You'll need a lot of thread. And with that, I just wanted to let you know that I'm still here, still working. And uh, yeah, I sewed it together. So hopefully the next video, it'll be done. And I will give you a, a close up on some of the stuff I did. And then I'm going to work on a border. And I am going to put a quilt back with batting. And I'm going to wash it. Yes, I'm going to wash it. So, by hand, of course. So anyway, um, I wanted a usable. When I sit in my chair here, I have a crocheted blanket that I use. Um, but I'm going to cover myself with it. I'm going to use it. I don't have wall space to use it or a bed or a couch. I've got three dogs, so it stays in my sewing room. But anyway, it's more of a, a thank you and uh, that I go back on one of the tips because uh, I like to add something that goes over the whole block, you know, covers four blocks. Even this right here, it was, um, this little flower here was a, uh, off of a doily or a hanky, hanky. And I cut that out and sewed it, but I put it on two blocks, so you couldn't do that if um, it was on one block. So I go back on what I said. Maybe you should sew it all together. But you know, it's trial and error. You're going to learn. A lot of you said you were going to try, and that made me very happy. And here's, here's something else, like see how wrinkly, this is a stretch fabric, and you're going to get that. So I'll deal with that and live with it, I guess. So <clears throat> anyway, I'm still working on it, and um, but I did sew it all together. So I don't know, six and a half feet by five feet maybe, about how big it's going to be. Not including the border, which is going to be pretty fancy. It's got some ideas in the works for that, but we'll we'll go over that when the time comes. So, anyway, I hope all is well in this crazy world, and that you get some enjoyment when you can. So, just collect those goodies. Start now. <laughs> you can never have enough ribbon. You can never have enough um, lace and uh, things that you want to add to it. So, ta-ta for now. Thank you. Appreciate all your feedback again, really. I really do. So, take care. Bye for now.